At the start of the film, we witness a princess being held captive in a palace. When she awakens, she tries to go from this room, but can't go because the door is locked. She now understands that she is being kept here like a hostage. She recalls that she had fallen out after smelling something at the time. Later, two guards enter the princess room. After seeing them, she pretends to be sleeping. But she was actually pretending. As one of the guards tries to approach her, the princess awakens and attacks the guards. She was successfully combating and beating him. It seems like she is a good fighter. She knows how to fight. For this reason, she fights alone with them so well. Later, after beating them, she locks them up and flees from there. Later, she comes out of there. After coming to another room, she sees from the window that Julius, the prince from another city, has locked up the entire princess family. The princess's parents, the king, the queen, and the younger sister are also included. Later, we witness the past scene. Here, the wedding of Prince Julius and this princess was going to take place. Because he wasn't a good man, she didn't want to marry him. For this reason, she ran from there on the wedding day. So, Julius feels so bad, so he decided to exact revenge on them today. He needs the princess at any cost because he wants to become the king of this city, and that is only possible after marrying the princess. So becoming king for Julius was really easy, because the princess doesn't have any brothers. Later, a guard who has an iron mask over his face enters the princess's room. After seeing him, the princess hides in a bathtub and stops her breath in the water. The guard arrives to check, and when he assures that nobody is there, he begins to go from there. Later, the princess is departing from there as he goes. Meanwhile, the guard glances at her and takes her into custody. She begins to fight with the guard for her defense. Later, the princess and the guard have a massive fight. In this fight, the princess defeats the guard and kills him. Later, the princess recalls a past memory that her father, the king, had always yearned for a son. Later, we see a woman from the past who was the princess's teacher and master. She has taught the princess everything, including swordplay, self-defense, and numerous other skills. At this time, the princess's sister was about to be born. His mother informs the teacher that her father, the king, doesn't want her to learn swordplay and fighting because he believes that they are activities best left to men and not women. While thinking about past memories, she goes from there and reaches a room. There arrive two guards and she battles them. She fights with bravery and after killing them, she comes out. Julius later sends a senior guard to check on the princess. He instructs someone to ascertain whether she is ready for marriage or not. The senior guard doesn't go to find the princess. Rather, he sends a guard who is quite healthy. The healthy guard doesn't want to walk upstairs, but the senior guard forces him to go. On the other side, the princess was running while hiding from everyone. After seeing the healthy guard, she hangs from the window outside. Later, the guard moves on from there when he doesn't find the princess. Later, the princess, after going back to the room, goes from there. Secretly, the princess takes the sword under her bed after coming. After some time, she starts to recall her past. She remembers how well her teacher taught her sword play, and she has given this sword to the princess because she was quite happy with her. After climbing, the healthy guard's condition worsens and he becomes exhausted. When the princess comes out of her room, she hears some sounds. Later, she sees a hole in the room when she notices that Julius and Moira, his friend, were there alone in the room. It indicates that the prince and his friend have a relationship after piercing the wall with her sword when the princess was about to kill Julius. The prince's guards arrive in his room and inform him that the king has called him. He then proceeds to ask the king to listen to him. From a narrow path in the wall, the princess goes into another room. Later, a guard who is wearing a powerful suit attacks the princess. She bravely fights with him, and meanwhile, they both engage in a great battle. Later, after burning his body, the princess throws him down from the window. 
Julius was standing down where she threw the guard. Later, the healthy guard comes and informs him, I found the princess everywhere, but I didn't find her. He became very angry with his senior guard after hearing this. He orders him to go immediately from here and search out the whole palace. After saying this, he goes from there. Later, Moira begins to suspect the guards, saying that there is surely someone who knows about all the ways of this palace. As a result, everyone begins to make fun of her and laugh at her. After her insult, Moira becomes quite ragged. For this reason, she attacks the senior guard with her chain. She terribly kills him. That chain has two blades that can be controlled by Moira's fingers. Later, she orders all the guards to search for the palace. The princess, who was also seeing everything while standing there, flees from there in an effort to save her life because the guards were coming to search out the palace. Later, she is surrounded by numerous guards, but she can't stop. To defend herself, she eliminates numerous guards. Later, she continues on, but soon many guards come to stop her way. Later, she fights alone with all the guards, but she becomes quite injured in this fight. Later, she spills the pearls from her broken necklace on the steps. As a result, all the guards pursuing her fall on the steps. Later, she flees from there after passing on their bodies. After capturing a guard, with the help of the widow, he falls from long feet. The princess fought with the guard there, but she killed him in the end and went from there. Later, she sees a long cloth hanging from the window, and she leaps out hurriedly and holds that cloth. She starts to descend with its help. She descends a little and enters a room with a window. She becomes quite injured, and she starts to bandage herself sadly. We see that her father was preparing to forcefully wed the princess to Julius. She tells her dad, I don't like Julius and I don't like to marry him. She tells him that I want to become a fighter. The king rags to hear this. He tells her, don't forget you're a girl. And this isn't good for you to learn the fight in swordplay. Listen to one thing carefully, that I'll arrange your marriage with Julius and he'll become the king of this city. Despite the fact that you are my daughter, I had no expectations that you'll answer me in this way. You're quite selfish. The princess becomes quite upset to hear this. In the present time, while she is bandaging her, someone suddenly enters her room and she becomes quite conscious after hearing his sound and attacks him. Later she realizes that this isn't any guard, but her master teacher. She feels quite happy to see her there. Later she falls down on the floor after having many injuries. Later, she asks her teacher what are you doing here? She tells her that I've come here to find you. Later she takes her to bed and begins to bandage her injuries. Later, the princess asks her teacher what happened and what is going on here. She is asked this from her teacher because she doesn't remember anything. Later she tells her that one night Julius came after taking his guards to fight and attack us, but our people were not ready to fight with them at all. Julius is a cruel man, he has no pity for anyone. He doesn't show mercy on anyone. He was killing anyone and was oppressing everyone ruthlessly. Hearing this, the princess becomes quite sad and blames herself responsible for this all. After seeing this, her teacher tells her that this isn't the time to blame herself, rather it is the time to be brave and save others. Later she tells the princess that there is only one way to go out of this palace and that is a waterway. After going out from there, they move toward the kitchen and see that Julius's guards have made destruction everywhere and they are oppressing people. Later, three guards capture a woman and misbehave with her. After seeing this, they secretly come there and attack the guards. They tell the woman, there is a way behind and you can run. Later, they fight with the guard one by one. Obviously, they were quite brave so they were killing the guards. Later, the last survivor guard arrives to attack them, but Mario arrives there in a while and kills him with her chain. So, the guard doesn't approach the princess and the teacher. Later, she fights with them, and the princess and the teacher bravely fight her. 
Later, Moira wraps the princess in her chain and hangs her. Later, the teacher fight with Moira to save the princess. Because of being suffocated, the princess was about to die. Before the princess could die, soon, the teacher beats her, she pushes her away, and as a result, the princess becomes free from her chains. Later, the teacher ignites fire around the four sides of Moira, so Moira couldn't stop them, and they can run. Later, the teacher asks the princess to go from there alone, but the princess denies it because she doesn't want to go without her teacher. The teacher tries to explain to her to run from there after agreeing with me. It is necessary for you to go, as you have to preserve your family. I'll face Moira after staying here alone. Later, the princess agrees and becomes ready to go from there. She comes out from that waterway. She reaches the jail where her family was imprisoned. Later, the princess sees that there are three guards to have an eye on her family. A few of them were drinking wine and others were playing games. Later, the princess goes there and begins to take a glass of wine. After attacking them, she begins to kill them. Later, she fights with the guards and reaches the jail and frees her family. After seeing her fighting with the guards, her father becomes quite shocked. While she was taking her family after rescuing them, many other guards arrive there and after attacking them, they faint them. Later, when they teach, the princess wakes up, she finds herself tied up in front of Julius, and her family was also along with her. In a while, Moira also brings the princess's teacher with her. Here, the princess tells Julius I think about you all day and night. She informs him, I think various ways to kill you, and Julius, I'm waiting for the day when I'll hold your pumping heart in my hand. After hearing this, Julius becomes quite ragged and says, I'll marry the younger daughter of the princess, because I'll become the king after doing this as well. Later, he orders his guards to kill the princess. After hearing Julius's words, the princess indicates this to the teacher. She tells her to take her younger sister from the back door. As the princess fights and diverts everyone's attention, after a while, the teacher runs after taking the younger sister of the princess. Later the guard tosses the princess out of the window. She directly falls into the water, and she faints after falling into the water. Later, she restores her senses and remembers that she has to save her family, fight, and save the whole city. After remembering this all, she cuts her rope from a piece of glass in the water. After doing this, she comes out of the water. Later, after chaining up the princess's family, Julius takes them to a church. A large number of people were already there. Actually, he has come here to marry the younger sister of the princess, and he orders her to find the younger sister of the princess. Later, the princess comes into the palace, where a guard is about to attack her. Meanwhile, we see that the princess's sister has been hidden under a statue. As the guard comes near the statue, she throws him on a guard. As a result, he dies in a while. Meanwhile, her teacher comes, and the princess becomes happy to see her. Later, she regrets having married Julius so she wouldn't have to live through this day. Three of them go from there. Later, the princess and the teacher bring the younger sister to the place. Where many weapons were placed that were used in war, the princess and the teacher became ready after wearing the war suits. The sister of the princess was fond of these dresses, so she became ready after wearing them. Later, they go after asking the younger sister to stay there. Meanwhile, the guards were finding the princess's younger sister, and later, the princess and the teacher began to fight them. As Julius hears the voice of the princess, he becomes shocked because he believes that she has died. He sends more soldiers to fight with them. On the other side, the younger sister of the princess arrives at the church secretly. After coming there, she frees a companion of the teacher. Meanwhile, Julia sees her and takes her to her father for marriage. After seeing this, the princess becomes quite worried, but they can't stop. They were fighting with each of the guards in a great way. After killing a few guards, the teacher begins to enter, but Moira, along with the guards, stands there to stop their way. 
The teacher fights with them, and meanwhile, the companions of the teacher arrive there. Everyone was fighting in the church, and the princess also tried to go inside the church. Meanwhile, Moira arrives there, and to stop her, she tries to scare the princess with her chain. In the church, Julius attacks the king. After seeing this, the teacher saves him and begins to fight with Julius. On the other side, the princess and Moira have a massive fight. Sometimes Moira dominates the princess, and other times the princess dominates Moira. Later, the princess wraps Moira in her chain and hangs her there. After doing this, she pulls the chain, and as a result of being suffocated, Moira dies. After killing her, the princess goes inside and sees that Julius has attacked her teacher. She is quite injured, and after seeing this, the princess becomes quite sad. She starts to cry because she thinks that her teacher, who had fallen and suffered an injury, may have passed away. In a while, the companion of the teacher comes and takes her. Now, only the princess and Julius remain in the church. Later, a fight starts between them. Julius attacks the wounds of the princess, and she becomes more injured. She feels great pain, and she can't fight anymore. Later, they come out of the church before everyone. The princess was sitting on her knees before Julius, and Julius had kept his sword on her neck. He was telling everyone that I'm your new king. Meanwhile, the princess recalls the words of her teacher, who always tells her, be patient during the fight and only keep your focus on the fight. Now she acts in the same way, as Julius diverts his attention after seeing the princess quiet. She immediately takes the sword from his hand and beheads him in a single attack. Because Julius has worn a king crown that also falls after his head falls. After taking the crown, she goes toward her dad. The king, after wearing his crown, tells everyone that from now on, the new king of this place will be my daughter, the princess. Hearing this, everyone becomes happy. Later, when the princess sees her teacher alive, she becomes astonished and happy as well. That's why she hugged her after approaching her. Meanwhile, the healthy guard arrives there and becomes happy to see the princess. He says, oh princess, you're here. Thank God you've been found. I found you everywhere. It was quite a funny scene, and everyone began to laugh. The film ends with this happiness. Thanks.